Enjoy going to the cinema, but fancy an alternative? Look no further. Based here on the Southampton Marina, the Harbour Lights Picture House is a purpose-built cinema that's been an attraction to many film fanatics for the past decade. I'm joined here with Sarah Bourne at the Harbour Lights Picture House in Southampton. Uh, Sarah, when was the building first opened? The building was built by Beryl Bailey Fisher in 1994. Unfortunately, the cinema closed down in 1999 due to a lack of funding. And then, but it was reopened by uh, City Screen, who took it over in 1999, reopened it as a new art house cinema. It's not all about coming here to watch a film, is it? There's, this cinema has a lot more to offer than a more conventional cinema, such as Cineworld. Yeah, I think it's a bit more of a sociable place. You can come in and you get a drink before the film, afterwards. You can even take a drink in if you want. Um, you know, we've got a gallery to kind of look at as well. Nice views, nice marina to sit on, you know, terrace to sit on during the summer. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we offer film quizzes, stuff like that. We kind of really keep the um, social bit important. It's important to us. We also have things like um, Atonement. We had the director, a live satellite feed from another picture house. So people can come and they can ask questions about the films. What does the Harbour Lights Cinema offer compared to more conventional cinemas such as Odeon and Cineworld just around the corner? We offer more art house kind of uh, films. Also, we do show kind of Hollywood films as well, but they tend to be more kind of cultural. Or they have more interesting directors. They have a bit of kind of cultural value to them, perhaps. And finally, uh, has there been a film that's been particularly successful since you've been working here in the past three years? I think um, probably literary adaptations, definitely in the last year. So Atonement and Kite Run have done extremely well. Mm -hmm. Get a big kind of crossover audience for those films. Mm -hmm. Ever wondered how the movie goes from the projector to the big screen? It's not as simple as watching a film on your DVD player. Here at the Harbour Lights, the job is left to projectionist Darren, and here is a glimpse of the process he carries out prior to every screening. The Harbour Lights Picture House boasts two screens where you can watch films produced around the world. The beauty of it is, when you finish watching the film, you can go and relax in the bar area and talk to fellow film fans about the films you've just seen. If you don't believe me, feel free to check out the website, or if you want a first-hand experience, come down and watch a film yourself. Now, if you don't mind, my film's just about to start. When you ready, Darren? <laughs> <laughs> 